<laughs> yo, yo, yo. Like, I'm doing this without streaming. So, we're not even going to do this on stream. This is just me. Yeah, because I woke up. I said I seen it in the middle of the night, but I didn't really look too much into it. But I'm seeing, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't it Chris? Yeah, I'm hearing Chris. It's out of Savage Squad. If you know what Savage Squad is, I think I, I, I didn't even give y'all a rundown. First things first, good morning. You know what I'm saying? It is 8 a.m. in the motherfucking morning. And your boy's eating a BLT with turkey. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give y'all a cheat code. You know what I'm saying? BLT with turkey. It's, it's something new. You know what I'm saying? La, la, la. Mm. Damn. All that juiciness in my mouth. Hey, pause. I ain't mean like that. But this is bushing. You know what I'm saying? Look, I'm hearing Chris that Savage Squad. Um, I hear there's a lot of rumors of fake stuff going on. Um, I'm really not sure what went on between two of them that made him want to do this. You know what I'm saying? But y'all know Chris is like one of the biggest faces of Savage Squad because he be holding it down. You know what I'm saying? He really be holding it down. I ain't gonna lie. Matter of fact, the game when they played Cash Team, all the points was Chris. You know what I'm saying? So. I don't know what's going on, but I just want to jump on here and make this very, very. You know what's crazy though? Like this is how all basketball squads. This is what happened with two hype a long time ago, if I'm not correct, right? But it ain't even been that long though. And if all this is true, bro, Nick is over for Nick, bro. He already got hate on his shoulders. Like me personally, I love his content, but as a person, his personality, I don't fuck with it. Like he mad, like weird and too cocky for me. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't like all that. But look. Uh, Let's watch. Very clear. Uh, I am no longer a part of Savage Squad. Damn. I'm not playing with Savage Squad whatsoever. Nick is a cop caller. He has been setting fake, fake content up for, for. So let me tell you how I feel about the cop calling part, right? I feel like it would be okay if, if his image wasn't so I'm so gangster. And also when he came at um Frieger, he was coming at Frieger for the fact that Frieger brings security to every event that he goes to. Because Frigo doesn't want people to get hurt. You know, Frigo wants to make sure everything gets situated properly. Because, you know, he's been in situations where people burn out guns or started shooting. So, he brings out food trucks. He brings out, you know what I'm saying, security sometimes. Because, obviously, things could go left. He's just trying to make sure everybody's safe. And the whole time, Nick coming at him talking about something. Oh, um, oh you, bringing in, you bringing in the ops to people to people's neighborhoods. You're bringing cops into people's neighborhoods. You're, you're, you're blah, blah, blah. But it's like, he's just trying to make sure everybody Gucci. For me, if people got problems with, they, with the cops, then don't come to the games. You know what I'm saying? But understand it on both ends. But it's like, after this, looking at if you really call cops on your own mans for low situations, then it's like, damn, you're a hypocrite. You know what I'm saying? But let's, let's keep watching. People to fucking, you know, bite. He doesn't care about anybody on the team. He pays Chauncey pennies. He pays, you know, Carlos pennies. I didn't want the money because I get my own money. I wanted to build my channel. Um, he now is taking control of Carlos's channel. Oh, the dude nah. Basically, control of Carlos's channel is crazy. Basically, frauds everything. His whole entire life is a fraud. Um, and he, uh, it's been very, very uh, aware to me that he calls cops, which is why I haven't really ever turned up in a video because I know I'm going to go to jail. Um, but I'm just going to make it very clear. I got recordings, tapes, everything. Kids are fraud. I'm no, I don't want nothing to do. I just want to jump on here and make this. Nigga, all right. So that's, that's just Insta, feel me? But apparently there's way more on YouTube and shit. So where is it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's way more you look three videos, bro. We probably gonna make a video for each one, but three videos is crazy. I want to hear exactly why. If he responds, you too, bro. We gonna get into it right now. I don't care if he responds, bro. The kid is a pussy boy. He's a bitch. Keep it a beam with you. Um, look, we gonna chop it up. I went to Nick's story to see if he even um. You know what I'm saying? Reply to anything. This shit is dead right now, so it must be true. Right now, hold on. Let me just get situated. Um, we gonna we gonna chop it up real quick, y'all. Look, man. Let me I'm gonna tell y'all what's going on, bro. It's uh, it's pretty simple, bro. All right, we gonna get into this. Everybody, first of all, if you just got here, first of all, I made Nick. <laughs> I made Nick. All right, let's get that. Let's get that clear. I go like, look, Nick is good and all, but Chauncey, I believe that's his name, and Chris is definitely the two biggest heads, especially Carlos too. He may be trash, but that's an image. People want to see when, when Carlos finally make a shot. 
people want to see when Carlos finally do good. You know I'm saying when Carlos do good, you see the whole part go crazy. It's just like flight. Flight may not be good at ball, but that image is something that holds a strong, you feel me, a strong image for people to look at. No, that's not why I'm mad. I'm going to keep it a bean with you. I'm going to tell you all what's going on. First of all, if you ain't here right now, smash the like button or your bitch pussy going to smell like fucking old Chick-fil-A sauce. Damn. I wouldn't risk it. Man, I didn't get the point. I really don't give a fuck, bro. Yo, people can't look. Let me just let me just get into this with y'all. Let you know what's really going on. All right. Here's what's really going on. All right. Real deal. Holy field. Y'all want to know the whole truth? Here's what's going to happen. Right uh oh. Now. First of all, Nick is a absolute fraud. Absolute fraud. All right. He's an absolute fraud. He's a liar. Homie is not fighting. He is not about that life. He's openly admitted. I ain't gonna lie, you really never see Nick fight. Even when they, they had their first fight that got exposed, the first thing Nick did was try and pull them away and break it up. And I'm not, I'm not saying you need to fight. But if you're portraying that so-called hard nigga image, then stick up to it. Because y'all seen how crazy he got with Frieger and calling Frieger pussy this and that. And Frieger was the one who was saying, like, you don't got to be on 10, 24-7. For me, kept it real. So that's why if you see somebody like Frieger run away, then it's like, you understand, because that's the image. He, you know what I'm saying? He don't want that image. But with a nigga like Nick, if you talking crazy, you got to hold down to it. And I've been saying since day one, I fuck with Nick videos, but something wrong with his personality to me. But, hey. To me, he is an actor acting for entertainment. I, he ha I found out. He has been paying people, paying people to start problems with me that I am unaware of. Oh, no. Nah. I, I've been, I've been out the loop for a whole month. I've known for one month, but for six months, he's been, we've been pulling up the parks. He's paying people. God damn. My service bad. Let me see something. How about now? Now you say it's not bad, my boy. All right. So peep game. So for six months, homies been paying people to pull up the parks and start problems with me, bro. Damn. I'm from Brooklyn, bro. I really would put. Whoa, wait, bro, Chris, that means he's Chris been from... putting people in danger, bro. Chris from Brooklyn. That explains his personality, bro. The whole time I've been trying to figure out where Chris is from because. Although he may be white, I'm looking at him like he must have grew up around some different type of people because it's like, I'm from Brooklyn, obviously. You know what I'm saying? He's flat, but we're not going to talk about it. Though. But it's like, every time I look at him, I'm just like, why is he trying to portray that image? I've been, that's why I've been trying to figure out for the long time, like, where is he from? Because it, I don't know. He really act like different. <laughs> why, He's why they ain't paying New York yet? Paying somebody a couple hundred bucks to pull up on me. And I'm dead ass Willie about to beat the shit out of somebody, bro, for his content. Y'all ready for this? Uh oh. Hold on, did I bring my work phone? I think I did. We're gonna check this out real quick. Wait, did I bring my work phone? Oh shit, I spilled my fries. Oh. I'm gonna jump back on live. This dude openly admitting how he's staging all his content, bro. Damn. Alright? He's fucking, he's a fraud. He has openly said, I'm an actor, bro. I'm an actor. Uh-uh. Bro, he's a bitch is what he is. He's a fucking hoe that be acting like he's tough in front of cameras. Then talks about how he's an actor and stage, bro. He's paying people to stage content and stage fights. So bro, not. I got him admitting it all on fucking camera. I have him on camera even. And I got the recordings, bro. I'm going to tell you something, bro. Do you fucking think the whole reason why this is happening, I'm going to tell y'all why this is happening. All right? I'll tell you right now. I'm going to jump back on the live in a hot second. I'm not drunk. You out your rabbit ass mind. I mean, some french fry. Chill. All right? Let me tell you what's going on. Nick, eight months ago, had a problem with somebody that I know that's from Orlando, all right? Uh-oh. The homie Shriver. Shout out to Shriver. Real one. Real real solid dude. Good dude. The reason why he had a problem, because Nick and him was cool. And then, 
basically, one time, first of all, mind you, Nick has been chasing clout. Nick has been chasing clout, all right? For straight up, been chasing clout. For, um, for how long, nigga? Goddamn. For months. He says he dropped 23 videos. That's a lie. He's been doing TikTok videos. He's been dropped hundreds of videos on YouTube. You just unlist them and probably Hundreds stuff. of videos on YouTube. Damn. Trying to do all types of shit. The dude's a fucking fraud. All right? He's a liar. Pretends like, oh, I only did 23 videos. Man, shut the fuck up. You was with Timmy Two Gunner and all of them trying to do world star pranks, throwing darts and shit at fucking. At target signs, trying to get clout, bro. He's a clout chaser, bro. Peep game. Homie straight up. <laughs> homie straight up. Openly told me he's acting and blah, blah, blah. And here's what's really going on. The reason why we just fell out is because he wants to go to Rucker Park. Let me explain you something about New York and Rucker Park, bro. You don't play acting games in Rucker Park, bro. <laughs> I'm from Brooklyn. I know that. Like, you don't play. I ain't gonna lie, you can't funny be. Funny games. And it's like this. You know what's crazy? He had a game where he's supposed to go somewhere. He's supposed to go to Compton. And he never pulled up because he was talking too crazy. Rucker Park. And they were serious. Pull up with Carlos, who's uncontrollable. Listen, man, I feel bad for the kid, Carlos, man. Listen, I love Carlos to death, bro. All right. You gotta understand something. Carlos has autism, bro. Nick is purely taking advantage of Carlos, bro. Straight taking advantage of him, bro. Nick gives Carlos twelve hundred dollars a month, bro. Twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred divided by four. You know what I'm saying? It's like four to three weeks in a fucking month. So that's like three hundred dollars a week. Damn, that's nigga. That's that's less than unemployment. Oh my god! Nick is making forty racks a month, bro. <laughs> Nick is at, is making forty racks off of our content. Forty racks is crazy. And he giving poor Carlos twelve hundred dollars, bum ass dollars a month, bro. Yo, Chauncey, who is the main, one of the other main reasons why we win games. Mm -hmm. Bro, this guy sits there and yells. Chauncey definitely gets mad. He gets most of the points. He's probably the best player on the team. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> For, word. You know what I'm saying? All, everything. Talking, everything. Fight. He was the main one trying to fight too. Like, feel me? Like, he be on Tommy. And I have to come yell at him to calm down about how he shouldn't be paying Chauncey. You know, he gives Chauncey a little more. I'm not going to tell y'all to Chauncey's pockets. But, bro, he gives Chauncey a little more. But straight jacket, bro. The dude gives Carlos $1,200. He owns his IG channel. What? He controls it all. What the he hell? He threatened him when Carlos went to go play with Ball's Life. He tried to. He took Carlos' channel and locked him out of his fucking Instagram page, bro. Nah. He is autistic. He he is diagnosed legally with autism. All right, bro. The dude literally tells me how he. Oh, I shouldn't even have to pay Chauncey. He's in a once in a lifetime opportunity. Damn. Blah 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 blah. I'm like, bro, you're a dirtbag, bro. You're making thirty thousand off of content. 30000 a month of content that we're giving you. I never asked for money. Recently, I pretended like I was broke because I've had to force Nick to give me like $3,500. Because I'm like, bro, at this point, like, I'm like, I'm your security Oh, shit. Bro, at this point, I'm your fucking security guard. <laughs> like, people are trying to really catch you lacking. <laughs> he really is a security guard. I'm calming it down. Damn. I'm your security guard. I, I do all the dirty work on defense. You don't go for any rebounds. You're lazy as fuck. We're fucking losing. Like, bro. Bro. It's crazy, bro. Like, I'll be honest. It is mild autism. He's not incognitive. He's not stupid. He's a, you know, he's, he's, you know, Carlos is intelligent. He, he knows what he's doing. He may, he's choosing what he's getting paid. 
He chose that. You know, he did give him an option to say, hey, here's $1,200 or a piece of the merchandise. But Nick doesn't break off nobody from the channel. Nobody. Nah, the fact that you own another nigga's channel, his Instagram and all that is crazy to me. <laughs> all right. He argues with me to pay Chauncey. Like my guy. What the fuck is you talking about? I'm sitting there on the phone. I'm like, bro, Chauncey literally balls his ass off, bro. Like, shut up and pay that man, bro. And I'm like, yo, I'm sitting there like, nah, I don't want the money. Do me, do me a favor, give me swipe ups on my channel so you know people can see what I do on my channel, right? Keep it a beam, bro. Keep it a beam, bro. He's done one swipe up and he was supposed to do it on every video I drop. He's done one. He's a greedy fucking bozo. He pretends this guy is narcissistic, narcissist traits, bro. He pretends like he's tough. This dude tried to talk to me. The reason, real reason why this happened is because I said, bro, I'm not going to Rucker Park and bringing some, because when I go to New York, you know, I'm bringing some real, real savages with me out to the park, bro. Like, you can't go to parks where you don't know nobody and pop out in somebody's hood if you don't know somebody in the hood in New York, bro, in that park, bro. That's a fact. You can't. You're going to get ran out the park, bro. Especially if you're from no New York. Like, it's. Like, I'm telling you, straight jacket, bro. You can't do that shit in New York, bro. First of all, 1,200 people in here and only 400 likes. Bro, if you don't hit the like button right now, I'm telling you, your bitch pussy next time I'm trying to smash it, it's going to smell like old Chick-fil-A sauce. <laughs> and I wouldn't risk you. What the fuck? Anyway, look, you can't do that in Rucker Park. So I told Nick, I said, bro, Nick, listen. First of all, other homie Strivers already ran down on Nick, right? And when he ran down on Nick, when he ran down on Nick, when his real problems, Nick said, touch me so I can send you to jail. So I already what? know Nick is a cop. Touch me so I can send you to jail? Nick, you either going to catch the ones or you going to shut your mouth and just listen to him. Popcorn. Jail right? is crazy. And then on top of that, bro, when that situation happened in Lakeland, bro, the cop, cops came, right? I peeled. I'm, in, I'm, I'm over there in the bleachers waiting for my ride. Homie's like, oh, we can't leave. Nick is standing behind us talking to the police. <laughs> what? <laughs> yo, imagine the cops. I imagine, like, you feel me? Y'all niggas is some shit. Cops come, you know what I'm saying? You you thinking you and all your man's about to skate? You like, yo, where, where my man's at? You like, nigga, he talking to the cops. The cops? So, my old, my fake camera guys. That quit on me after that whole situation. Because that situation, I believe, was real. I don't even know if it was. Maybe it was staged. Maybe it wasn't. But homie was talking to the cops behind the car. <laughs> so my, my cameraman couldn't even fucking leave. You heard? So anyway, back to the point. I already know this guy's policing. Straight up. So I said, yo, let me tell you something, bro. I'm going to keep it a beam with you. I'm not going to New York with you, bro. I'm not doing that. We go to New York, I know my homie, uh, the homie's gonna pull up. Bro, if some of my brothers pull up, bro, and some shit hit the fan, because Carlos is uncontrollable, and I don't know what you got planned, because Nick, clearly, you've been playing this shit and doing weird shit for Yeah, I'm as just like this. Basically, what he's trying to say is this, right? They go to New York, right? Meanwhile, he's from New York, so he got niggas in New York. He plans something where the team ain't about to play antagonizes them purposely so they can start a fight for the video. Now, his mans is there, and they don't know that. So now when they see that somebody trying to start with him, they might pull out something. They might really get it on with him. They might really, you feel me, violate. And Nick being a cop caller, everything going to go left. Once, without telling me, right? Then, bro, you're going to tell me that some shit hit the fan. The homies really ride on something. Because when we outside, you're not going to tell on me? You're not going to tell on my, on my brothers? I'm, I told Nick, I said, Nick, I'll be honest, bro. I don't trust you to hold water, bro. You talking to cops after the scene, telling, posting them, posting them publicly the dude who had the gun. You, you, you talking to the police, telling them everything that happened at the end of the fucking Lakeland shit with the sucker punch video. And then my the homie, my homie, you know, Shriver pressed you to run his fade. You said, touch me so I can get you, so I can send you to jail. <laughs> hey, yo, homie. Hey, touch me so I can send you to jail. You a bitch. Damn. I'm not going to New York with you, bro. 
straight jacket. You're not going. I'm not pulling up. I wonder what the comments say. For you to tarnish my name. Oh, this is live. So let me see what. Want to get your contact jacket? Say. Like, Damn. what are you talking about, bro? Straight fucking bozo. So we got mad, and he said, "Oh, just admit it. You're not allowed to be back in New York." I'm like, "What is this guy talking about, bro? I'm gonna be in New York in a week and a half." I'm going to all the parks. I'm just not going with you. <laughs> Cause you a bitch, and you a te you definitely telling. And like New York a lot cops of is different. Free, free callers for real though. Like he really, he a slave. He he under his he under. You feel me? He under the command. That's crazy. Hey yo, New York undercovers, bro. They different, bro. They look like us. They look like the homies. You be outside, bro. They gonna pull up on you like yo. It's good, bro. It's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, shit happened, bro. Listen, we're going to take you in if you don't tell us what's going on. What happened? Come on, bro. What the fuck is you talking about? I made Nick. I made Nick because I'm the one who gave him the content. I was ready to smack these people he was fucking putting in my face and f staging shit. I was really going to ride on these dudes, bro. I'm out here risking myself for this dude's channel, bro. Suck my dick. And you dead pussy. So basically, let me tell you what happened. All right? Homie basically... After I told him that, got in his feelings, start talking shit. Oh, you a 30-year-old fucking, uh, first of all, I'm not even 30. Okay. Second of all, he goes, you, you're a 30-year-old who, who, who can't go back to New York. I was like, all right, bro. <laughs> Nakashi 6'9". <six, nine. laughs> Facts. So anyway, right? I said, bro, look, keep it a bean with you. All right? I'm not doing that, bro. I'm not doing that shit, bro. I'm not going to New York with you. I, wouldn't, I don't trust that you gonna hold. I wouldn't trust it. Is it's basically a winner, a winner lose situation. You hear me? Water. You're not solid. I know somebody gonna tell on somebody some shit. Hit the fan. You gonna tell? And I'm not dealing with that shit. I said let's go somewhere else. Go to Texas, right? Straight jacket. I know the. Yeah, let's go somewhere where we from me where we not from. So I ain't gotta go back home and be. Be worried about the fact that they're gonna be like, damn, nah, you hanging around a nigga who, who snitched on us. I grew up in the parks in, in New York. I know exactly how they work, bro. Straight jacket. I said, no, I'm not doing this. Go somewhere else. Oh, yeah, I forgot hey, about man, Abraham. He got mad. Then he started talking about his brother who's home from the military and is a licensed sniper. <laughs> I'm like, bro, so what are you saying? I, I don't know what I'm saying. Why are you telling me about your brother? Like, what, what is that? What do you mean? <laughs> licensed sniper. <laughs> Oh, you're a fake tough guy. I was like, bro, Nick, I would. <laughs> he gonna quick scope Chris. <laughs> Dead punch in your face. I'll beat the shit out of you. Like, what are you? So what are you saying right now? What do you? What do you want to do? Oh, I'll be at the. I'll be at the gym in thirty minutes. I bet. Say no more. Ten minutes later, sending an address to some place in Oviedo, which is like a nice ass community. He goes, come to my house and try my life, so my brother can put a bullet in your head and I'll stomp on your head after. He says. I see. Is this guy serious? <laughs> <laughs> Try my life at my house, he says. So basically, he's setting it up to make it look like I pulled up on him so mm. he can defend himself with his brother who's mm. a military with a licensed gun. That makes sense. Bro, I said I'm going to punch you in the face. I didn't say I'm going to kill you or shoot you. I said I'm going to punch you in your face and beat you up. <laughs> and on top of that, I already know he'd be sniffing mad yak. He'd be sniffing mad coke, be up all night. He be tweaking out. This guy's a retard, bro. He's got something wrong with him, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Coke. He really do. Coke is crazy. Nick really got something wrong with him. He's bugging the fuck out. This shit interesting. Going online, all coked up, like, man, fuck Compton. Compton's pussy. Like, bro, what is wrong with this kid? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. When he said for Compton, I was like, he's tripping, bro. Yeah, bro. I've been dealing with this shit for months, boy. This boy's a little yak. He not, he not thinking about the people that's with him. Whatever he do, what they got to deal with, too. Yeah, bro. He's putting them you in situations they don't gotta be in. Yeah, this rabbit ass mom. Nigga said school he shooter. He played with me for the last time. School shooter naked in the building. Nah, bro. He talked too spicy. I'm not the guy. I, I'm I'm putting everything on Front Street, bro. Everything. First of all, I fuck with Chauncey. Chauncey, I don't know how he dealing with this shit either, bro. Shout out to Chauncey. Chauncey, you know what to do, bro. You welcome my mods on the hooligans anytime, bro. Anytime, bro. Nick is a fucking weirdo. He was a weird ass dude, egotistical narcissist, bro. He really thinks the world revolves around him. Bro, this guy was trying to. Bro, I had to convince this guy not to pay somebody to swing on Cash Nasty for content, bro. You wanted somebody to swing on Cash Nasty for content? 
Boy, ain't no way. <laughs> like, bro, this man is nah, going to get caught slipping. I'm I got to see when Cash right reacted to this. Right He's going to get caught slipping. He is not like that. He is not tough. He is not a savage. He is a bitch who will call the cops when you really put pressure on him, bro. I'm letting you know right now. He's a fuck. He's the real lemon. He was telling me that Frigga was talking shit about me on a conversation, saying that his big man's going to wash you and all that shit. Telling me all types of goofy shit, bro. So I'm telling you right now, bro. It's all good. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I just figured I'll jump on here and let y'all know. I'm going to jump back on. I'm going to play the recording. Y'all going to hear it. He's been staging all this shit. He's been paying people Damn. to fucking come pull up on me in the park and stop problems. Shit is weird, bro. I got the proof. I got videos of him on FaceTime talking about it. Damn. I got mad recordings. Damn. I got all. I got screenshots. Damn. Bro, so I he, got every he been he been stacking up evidence for a minute. So the right time he go, bow. Everything, bro. And I did all that because I already knew his character, bro. I knew his character, bro. Poor character traits, beloved. Poor character traits, beloved. Big pussy. Nikashi 69. <laughs> nah, don't include that with Chauncey. I'm telling you, Chauncey is about the only one who's uh, the real one or the real one on there, bro. Damn. He really is like a con man. What about Abraham? That bro? makes sense, bro. He a con, con man for real. Like, he really just pump faking the internet right now, bro. Straight jacket. I mean, it is what it is, bro. I never I'm just keeping it. I never heard somebody say straight jacket. Being, I'm just being transparent for the internet because y'all be falling into this fucking bozo. Bro, I've heard this man call an Uber driver the N-word, bro. Somebody delivered his Uber Eats when he was drunk and they brought him a pack of Trulies. The homie asked for his ID. All right, I'm going to tell you how ter how whack this character is, this person that y'all y'all watch. Homie asked for an ID because when Uber d eats delivers uh, uh, alcohol, that you you they gotta have your ID. You heard? The dude asked for his ID. Nick starts ruffling his feathers like, "Bro, are you serious? Like, just give me, just give me my what I give me my liquor. I paid for it. Just give it to me." He's like, "Nah, I, I just have to see ID." All right. Homie goes, uh, and he pulls it out and he throws it. At the Uber driver, bro. And then I pick it up because I'm like, bro, it's not delayed. that serious, bro. Here, man. It's not that serious. Nick goes, you fucking. And he calls him the N-word after he passes his ID back and takes it from him. Calls him the N-word. My mouth dropped, bro. Oh, I was no. just like, is this guy serious? The guy goes, what the fuck you said? Uh, and he goes, do something. I can fuck you up. And he's doing it while I'm there. So the dude looks at him. He's about to beat him up. And then looks at me. And I'm just like, ah, uh, fuck. No, no. Nah. I've literally listened to this. Yes, the hard R, bro. Oh. I've literally listened to this oh, dude. The R, hard R is crazy. Say that shit to an Uber driver, bro. Uber Eats delivery driver. And I've just had to just. Bro, I had to, I, I, I like, I had to eat it because I, I'm looking at this poor Uber driver like, damn, bro. Like, he's eating it because I'm here and he's nervous. I'm going to beat him up. And low-key, like, you know, I, I, at the time, I fuck with Nick. So I'm like, but I listened to this dude say that shit over an ID, bro, to an Uber East driver that clearly was like a, you know, short, dark-skinned dude that just looked like he just really didn't have a lot going good for him in his life. You know, just trying to make ends meet doing Uber Eats and shit. And I'm like, damn, bro. Shit's crazy, bro. That's the type of character I've been dealing with, but man. This person goes into clubs, talks security won't it doesn't move out as fast as he says, and he goes, he goes, Google my net worth. I'm just like, uh. Uh. This dude, man. This dude's a fucking terrible character, man. Terrible. Runs around acting like he's God's <sighs> gift, man. Damn, it should have been 30 minutes for my nigga. Ain't really much to watch after this nigga dick is... Nick is a dick. Dick Brits. This nigga's about to lose a lot of his credibility and name for himself. What's on the story? 
<clears throat> I'm officially in, officially not the Savage Squad no more. Oh no. Nah. Pretty clear, loud and clear. I am not playing with Savage Squad no more. I'm not on the team. I'm not playing with fake people who fraud their fucking content. Um, homie's been setting me up, having random people paying people to come fuck with me to start problems for his content. He doesn't pay any of his fucking players. Nobody gets paid. Carlos Mitt just started making money two months ago. Damn. So did Chauncey. I feel bad for those guys. He's been capitalizing off people for two fucking months. For, or for two months. For five months. I've gave this guy blood, sweat, and tears. And uh, the second I you to snitch on my homies when shit really hit the fan, bro, I'm not doing that. Uh, it, it just hit the fan. So uh, I'm officially not playing with Savage Squad no more at all. What so? This is what I've been dealing with, y'all. The only thing I can say is that... That's the corny um, shit, fake shit I've been dealing with. When you, when you start... You to snitch on my homie. Damn, bro, that's too much. Yeah. Hey, Chauncey, Carlos, man. If y'all... Chauncey, Chauncey. What's, what's on Chauncey's story? Oh, he not saying nothing. Chauncey wants no parts. That boy, that boy wants his paper. He wants no parts. That boy wants no parts, bruh. Hold on, let me. Let me see Carlos story. Broken heart, damn. Don't, don't go on co-founder. I don't use the app, bruh. Only use Instagram only. I didn't make that account. Damn. So he didn't make that account. Damn. What's going on? There is so much going on. What the fuck? But listen, bro. Y'all gonna see me the next one. The next video.